Hi everyone, welcome to Patty's Polish Corner. Sorry, no FaceTime today. Um, I haven't feeling the greatest, so, but I really wanted to get this video out. You'll have to tell me what you think of it. I did not paint my nails with it. Like I said, I really wanted to get this out. I haven't been feeling well, so I just did swatch swatch sticks. I will probably end up doing nail polish swatching of it and just posting the pictures on Instagram. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Are swatch sticks okay? Would you rather see me apply it on my nails? Um, Whatever you think is good, I will do because, you know, I just will do it. <laughs> So anyways, these are the Wave Gels Mood Change Glow in the Dark Polishes. I did get these from Princess Nail Supply. Um, I really don't recommend buying from them. Um, you're supposed to be a licensed student or something like that. Um, however, I think I kind of got in by the back door by not creating an account and using my PayPal to pay for this. This is the second order I've ever ordered from them. Their shipping is horribly expensive. It is like almost $20, like 18, 18 bucks to ship it um, because they use some kind of like super fast Federal Express or whatever. Um, that's if you purchase under $150. I did purchase over $150. I got this collection and another one because they were on sale for $7.95 a bottle. So that is like over $4 a bottle savings from the Rush Hour Beauty Supply, um, website, RushHourBeauty.com, which I usually purchase my wave gel from. But I just, I couldn't pass up this deal, so I kind of asked my friend if she needed some. I asked Amanda, my daughter, if she wanted anything from there so that I could get up to $150. So I didn't have to pay that horrible shipping. But the last time I ordered, I think it was last year. I think I do like one huge <laughs> um, polish order every year and then just a little bit here and there for the rest of the year. So this was it. Um, anyways, I think last year I ended up paying the shipping because I, I could, I just couldn't reach $150, but this time I got it. So let's take a look at these guys in action. So this is Wave Gels Mood Change Glow in the Dark number one. So let's see. Mood glow number one, it looks like it's going to be some kind of orangey color to some kind of like yellowy greeny color. And then in the dark, maybe like a brown to a, a darker green. So we'll have to check that out. Yeah, so in its cold state, it is peach. So this is one coat and in its warm state it's kind of like a I'm gonna say it's like a celery green color kind of like be a yellowish greenish color really really light though like oh there's a lump on my swatch stick darn it oh well So on the second coat, I'm using clear swatch sticks and then we can tell how many coats it takes to be opaque and it looks pretty good. Um, it is a peach. It's just peach. It's peach peach. It's light peach. <laughs> There's not much to say about it. <laughs> Your average light peach. Oh, I know what this is. This is like a, a margarita green, kind of. This be like a lemony yellowy with a tint of green to it. Let's see. 
it's pretty much coming up pretty true color on camera. It's pretty much exactly what it looks like. This is the Mood Change Glow in the Dark number two, and it looks like it's going to be a blue to, I don't know, it looks kind of like the same color that was on the other bottle to a dark brown to a green in the dark. So let's check it out and see what we got in here. It's like, kind of like a Cracker Jack. Hey, what's actually the color? <laughs> Ooh, this is a really pretty blue. I like it. I can see me using this one a lot for winter manis. I I love this color blue in the winter. Um, I just think it looks so cozy and warm, even though it's like a snowy color. But I really, really like it. This is gorgeous. Oh, wow. This turns into a beautiful minty green. Oh, how cool. Very pretty. This can be nice for a bunch of spring manis. Okay, here's two coats. And there it is when it's warm, two coats. I would say you could probably use a third. I'm gonna put a third one on. I'm adding a third just because I see a little bit of streaking, but that could have been my application. Then I'm not, I didn't get it on there good enough. Sometimes if you put too thin of a coat you'll need three of course you're supposed to do thin coats so uh. so I'm just going to put on a third coat there okay and there we are with two coats and as you can see the edges are a little bit cool that's really beautiful I like that Okay, this is Mood Change Glow in the Dark number three. Looks like it's going to be purple to pink and teal to peach, maybe. This is very beautiful. So now these, these mood changing and glow in the dark stuff, they don't actually come with, you know, a regular lacquer, but I'm thinking this looks really close to um, Maiden of Grape. So if you wanted to use the regular lacquer, like for toe colors, I think, I think this would be a good match for that. This one must not have gotten quite warm enough in the lamp because um, it's still kind of purple, but you can tell it's going to be a really pretty pink. All of these apply very nicely. Oops, sorry about that. <laughs> I mean, it changes really quick, but it is very pretty pink into purple. So that's really, really, I like that one. Okay, so here's number four. And it looks like it's going to be, I don't know, pink to blue to something to blue <laughs> in the dark. Okay, let's see what we got in this bottle. Okay, this one is a light um, purple, like a pinkish purple or a pink with purple tones to it. Kind of like a lavender, like a really, really light lavender. Very pretty. And it turns to a very beautiful, pale, kind of like icy blue. Well, this one will be pretty for winter manis too. 
Easter mayonnaise, spring mayonnaise, <laughs> whatever. Now this one doesn't want to get cold. That's kind of funny. The other one didn't want to turn warm. This one doesn't want to turn cold. The heating in my apartment must be a little off right now. Okay, so here's with the second coat. Um, I am topping all of these with the shiny no clean top coat. Okay, here's number five. Guess what color it's going to be? <laughs> green. Green to green. <laughs> to green to maybe yellow. <laughs> Let's see what we got in this bottle. Okay, so this is an actual, I would say, celery color green. Or like a spring spring green you know I don't know so this is what it looks like when it's cold and this is one coat let's cure that ooh that reminds and that is yellow kind of reminds me of like a banana <laughs> taffy or something like that oh my gosh food references I don't know why I'm doing that okay, so two coats should be good for this one so here we go and uh, it's just a touch lighter off camera than it is on camera but it's pretty much the color and this is the last one in the collection, number six. And it looks like it's going to be some kind of purple to blue to purple to blue. So let's check it out and see what we got. Okay, now this is, I would say, a very dusty purple. All of these are still applying really well. And it changes to a light blue. Like a sky blue. They look like they might apply really streaky, but I think that's just like the under color, but they level out really well, all of them. So you don't have the streaks. If you just like wait a minute or so, all levels out really beautifully. Okay, and here is two coats. Okay, here are all six colors cold. So this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. These are all six colors warm. One, two, three, four, five, six. And here are all six. Um, the top part is cold and the bottom part is warm. We have one, two, three, four, five, six. Here's all six. The only way I could capture the colors was with a photo. So same order. One, two, three, four, five. And here so I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you're not one of my subscribers, please subscribe. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.